Hello everyone, this is Al Kabir, the analyst, and today, just giving my draft recap and what great Howie Roseman deserves, and um, I, I just give him a C minus, and I and I just give my reason why. But this is Al Kabir, the analyst. All right, so let's start from round one. Knock that out, Devontae Smith. I believe we all agree with that. He traded up with the Ops, a.k.a. the Dallas Cowboys. Giants fans was mad. You know how that went, how that went down, how we pulled the fast one, traded away the uh, third round pick. We got who we got. We got our guy. We got our guy, Devontae Smith. It just feel like he deserved to be an Eagle. Feel like he was just meant to be an Eagle, man. And just feel like it. You know, helmet, Jalen Hurts, a mesh. It just really feels like it. Um, it, it felt good, man. Day one really felt good. Now let's go on to day two. Um, this is where it gets sticky, man. And um, to me, he he pulled another one on us in the second round, man. He pulled another one with this uh, Landon Dickerson guy. I'm sorry. Yes, he he was one of the best run blockers in college football. Don't get me wrong. I've been watching a lot of film on this guy. He's nice when he's on the field. That's the thing. When he's on the field, he's nice. But dude can't stay healthy. Will he ever play a full season as a Philadelphia Eagle? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. The injury history, I just can't ignore it. I'm sorry. I, I can't ignore the injury history. We had a JOK right there, fully healthy. Had a Asante Samuel Jr. right there, fully healthy. I don't understand it. And I'm going to get into my guy, Aaron Robinson, who I think is going to be a stud in this league. And we missed out on that for this Landon Dickerson guy. Trust me, one healthy, he is nice, but that's one healthy. I could say the same thing about Sidney Jones. How that worked out for us? How did that work out for us? Not in our favor. Not in our favor at all. So, um... Let me get into this guy, uh, Milton Williams, right? My thing is they compare him to Aaron, Aaron Donald, workout warrior. Um, he has the potential of being one of the best defensive tackles in this league. Hey, that's that's a great addition for us. But we got Aaron Robinson and those guys right there. You got to take it because it still doesn't answer the question about the cornerback position. It still doesn't answer the cornerback position. We already have Fletcher Cox. We already have Javon Hargrave. What is going on? Give Darius Slay some help, please. Did anybody watch the Dallas game? You know exactly what they did. They just threw the ball whoever Darius Slay wasn't on. Because we don't have any corners. You still didn't answer that question about the corners. That's why I'm going to keep ringing in this video. The cornerback position. The cornerback position, man. And um, let me get into the next pick. Mitt Pearson, right? That's, that's when we go Mitt Pearson. He's cool. Mitt Pearson is cool. But he's a developmental guy. You had Aaron Robinson before this guy. You could have got Aaron Robinson, but you get a developmental guy, a guy who's not ready yet, a guy who we have to develop. Come on. I'm not a fan of this pick at all. He's a slot corner, another slot corner. But we got Nikel Roby Coleman, trash on the outside. Vontae Mattis, who is 5'9", trash on the outside. Come on, man. LeBlanc, trash on the outside. Trust me, they can they can get up in you in the slot, but on that outside, not that good. Not that good at all. Like, we still not helping Darius Slay out. Once again, who watched that Dallas game? Seriously, Dallas had three stud wide receivers. Who's going to help Darius Slay? Are we going to get Richard Sherman? It's, I mean, 
<sighs> Let's get into the next pick, man. And uh, I shouldn't have huff and puff after this next pick because I believe this is probably one of the steals of the night. Kenneth Gainwell is the steal. He's the, he's the steal. I mean, him and Miles Sanders, that one-two punch. Then you're going to have Jordan Howard. Uh, it's going to get tough in that running back room because some of them not going to make it. Somebody going to get cut. I'm not sure if Boston Scott, Corey Clement should be gone, but some you still got Elijah, you still got Elijah Holyfield. So, uh, I mean, somebody going to get cut, but I like this pick. Speaking of hybrid guys, man, can catch the ball, can can play receiver. He, he can do it all. He strictly plays football. I like this pick a lot, man. I'm not going to lie. Tackle again with the Marlin guy. Then we get a uh, defensive end again on Tyron Jackson. But then these last two picks, I, I, I pretty, I, I like it. Jacoby Stevens and Patrick Johnson. Um, Jacoby Stevens, he reminds me of more of a Malcolm Jenkins. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but he, he can play the box he can play linebacker he can play safety he can do it all he can do it all man so i like the last two picks but all these defensive ends and tackles i don't get it it should have been that many corners it, we should have replaced the defensive tackles and ends that we drafted with cornerbacks there's no way we leave this draft just with an all met pearson what are we doing? That That's the only reason why I'm giving this grade so low. I hope all these guys succeed. And even if they do, it still doesn't help our situation with Darius Slay. It still doesn't. Say if Pearson does succeed, but he's going to succeed in the slot. It still doesn't help. Who's going to help out on the outside? Uh, how we better have a trick up his sleeve for somebody to help Darius Slay because so far I'm not seeing it unless um again as one of those guys he can really develop uh, Jaquette but right now man cornerback needed to be addressed and we didn't we we didn't address it we. We just left it up to faith, hope, and God. Um, and the talent that was in this draft with cornerback, we didn't get not one, not one of the top guys. Come on. I'm not with it, man. I, I'm, I'm really pissed about that, and that's the reason why I'm giving Howie Roseman C minus. Not saying the guys he did get not talented, but he did not address the problem. I don't think our defensive line was the problem. It was our cornerbacks, our safeties, things like that. And us rocking with Sean Bradley and Davion Taylor, I'm cool with that. I'm really cool with that. But we didn't address that cornerback position. Um, hopefully he does sometime this off season, but I don't know about how we, um, glaring problem with the cornerback position. He had receivers going for career records against us. Um, still didn't address it. Maybe it was Jim Schwartz. I know it was due to a lot because of Jim Schwartz, but come on. He did not address the problem. Um, let me end it at that. That's why I give a C-, but this is Al Kabir, the analyst. Ghost.